Hello, welcome to my channel, dear fellow citizens of Soviet Republic. My name is Forzion and I am here with another tutorial-like video from this wonderful game, Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. And today my focus is on power grid, power lines, and I want to showcase some of the stuff, how I build my power grid and give you some tips, some... Uh, to share some knowledge, some experience about it, to show, to help you make your power lines, power grids mm, better and enjoy this part of the game which is available when you play with fuel and energy. So here we are, let's jump into basics. We have first basic structures which are available for us and you can find them under energy related and there are some Power plants available, coal power plant, single reactor nuclear power plant and twin reactor nuclear power plant. Each of them has different output, each of them has different fuel to produce power and of course there are other power plants available in workshop which we are not going to talk about and uh, some new ones are coming in future updates into the game like wind turbines solar power plants and also it is highly probable that we will have hydroelectric power plants too and uh, let's then we have some other structures which we can see here these are power nodes we have a power transformer electric substation medium voltage switch and high voltage switch the high voltage switch is used to divide one high voltage wire or match two high voltage wires into one and then the medium voltage switch works the same but it is used on medium voltage wires. Then we have the power transformer which transforms power from high voltage to medium voltage or later on with updates it will do the opposite too to transform medium voltage into high voltage. And then we have the electric substation, which is used to distribute power from the medium voltage to low voltage and connect to all the buildings in the area. Then we have several types of power lines. So we have the high voltage power lines, which are used to transport high amount of power through distance in real life. And we have them here in the game too. We have several kinds of them, concretely seven types with different volti volti different wattage. They are 4 megawatt, 6 megawatt, 8 megawatt, 10 megawatt, 30 megawatt, 50 megawatt and 80 megawatt available. And then we have medium voltage wires which are four types available for us and those have 0 0.65 megawatt, 1.2 megawatt, 1.5 megawatt and 2.35 megawatt. So then uh, we have some important informations you need to know about. One of them is how much the power plant can produce. You can see how much it produces in one day but here you can see in watt meter how much power it can produce at the very moment that is how much power is produced in each second and for coal power plant it is 23.34 you can see that also here if you look at the single reactor nuclear power plant you see 4680 megawatt hours of power per day but if you want to know how much it can produce in every single moment then there is the vo max wattage circuit breaker which is 78 megawatts each second and this number you have also with all your buildings available for example you have the steel mill which has that number here in Watt max wattmeter again and that is one, 0 0.44 megawatts of power which is a circuit but it never it can never consume more than that for example the university has 0 0.12 a cinema has 0 0.05 then a school has 0 0.05 or the Dusseni city hall has 0 0.05 
but for example this building has 0 0.18 this building has 0 0.18 and here we have a different kind which has 0 0.10 that's the max wattage they can consume in each moment and you can plan accordingly your power grid to that here we have 0 0.05 and as you can see here we have three power plants and a town which has about 1650 population and if we remove if we have a look on these power plants we are consuming in total less than 0 0.3 megawatts of power the most consumption comes always from industrial buildings and you need to take notice about that so if you have a look to see to showcase some very much consuming buildings we have for example the train aggregate loading which can consume 0 0.45 megawatts you see 450 kilowatts and if you divide that by thousand you get the number how much megawatts it can consume at max but for example train aggregate loading can consume 1.3.3 megawatts of power each second so that's the most power consuming building i know about for now and for example there were some in ships and there is the this one harbor for containers and vehicles can consume 2.6 megawatts so you need two power substations to supply that with power you need to keep that in mind when you build that structure that it will not be enough to have single substation there dry dock for example consumes 1.5 megawatt of power at full and then we have some extremely require um, buildings which require a lot of power that's aluminium plant which requires 2.5 megawatts so because of that it has also high voltage power connection because if it is working at full capacity you are not able to supply it with only one single substation then another thing worth mentioning is you have the substation you can see through this icon what buildings are connected you can see that also with the power plant because power plant works as substation too and the substation has about four 350 meter range so all buildings in that range are automatically connected to that substation and this number showcase how much is the maximum consumption of those buildings connected so that is the sum of all circuit breakers in buildings connected that, to that and estimated maximum consumption is how much is the estimate but these numbers never works for me never understood how it works and sometimes it shows the numbers which are weird because it always shows all the buildings connected but you may have substations which overlap themselves and for sure you have to have them you just cannot have one substation in a town because if it is overloaded you will not be able to supply your town because of that it is good to have two three maybe four substations in highly populated areas to overlap and that way the power is distributed among them so let's go further you can connect your medium voltage wires to substations directly from the power plant because each power plant has some medium voltage connections but the usual setup is you have high voltage wire getting out and then you connect that high voltage wire directly to the power transformer or you use a switch to divide that power line into two lines and connect for example two power transformers or you can connect a power transformer and a steel mill to that or you can connect a power transformer and uh, another line will go for border exports 
then we can do the same with medium voltage wires you can connect the power the medium voltage switch to the power transformer and then you can divide the line into two branches and usually it is depends on what is going to be there because for example if you are going to have two areas and you connected the medium voltage wire which has capacity 2.35 megawatts and one you may connect to 1.5 megawatt lines there and you will be fine if you go into towns or for example if you build a farm and you need some power there you are fine with 0.65 megawatt wire because the farm does not consume that much for it consumes only 0.05 megawatts of power the silo consumes 0.05 the the gas station consumes that much then the other facilities which will be nearby usually consume also that much so you can build a small farm with all the equipment all the facilities related to that and be fine with one 0.65 megawatt wire but for towns usually you need the full one 2.35 because there may be dense populated areas, a lot of stuff going on, especially if you get some uh, industrial buildings nearby, those may consume much more and that way they may overload your power line. And you will be not, it will be not enough, it would be not enough to supply power for the whole town. Then, that was the simple connection that you can connect two high voltage wires to one coal power plant but if you choose to use the nuclear one it has more connections and that's the most simple way how to do it so i want to showcase you how i do my power grid because i don't like to have to rely on one single power plant only and because of that i c i create power supply branches and they're basically working this way i have two power plants and there is a line between them and on that line there are several switches in this case we have three one of that switch leads to the has connected the lowest voltage high voltage power line which has four megawatts to that steel mill and then we have two power transformers which can cover two towns or one town or an industrial area plus a town it depends on what do you have but i don't connect them with the same wire as the main branch is i usually use 50 megawatts because the coal power plant can produce only 23.34 megawatts of power and it is meaningless to have 80 megawatts there but you of course you can do it but you need to consider how much power you can produce how much power you will consume so i use the 50 megawatt but you can use also the 80 megawatts and i connect my power transform with 10 megawatts but you can use whatever you want i just uh, ex my experience just is that a town never uses more than 10 megawatts and even if it uses i need more than one power transformer to supply that because i have not enough connections and on the other side of that line we have the other power plant and that means if one goes off the other supplies the power grid there it takes the load and that way we are not going into blackout we have only the power plant temporarily off and i can create that for example here i have three power plants all around with three branches all three branches are backed up you can do the branch in a different way for example you may have not a power transformer here but you can have a power line leading to the border which can be also uh, used as backup or as exports and you can limit that by using the respective power line for that 
if you want to export for example only 10 megawatts of power from that line you build a 10 megawatt if you can ex afford to export 6 megawatts you build 6 megawatt high voltage connection to your border and as we mentioned earlier you can do the math how much power you will need estimate that and accordingly set up your exports another thing worth mentioning here is how will you supply your power plants with workers and in this case I want to showcase what system I usually use if I can I have buses never use single line but I use two lines from two uh, different directions if one gets stuck the other can come and also usually this is a good spot good good opportunity to use personal cars because one power plant needs only 20 workers and even if you have 10 of them there it is usually able to operate almost at full capacity and those workers then are independent in traveling towards that power plant and then they get there not only by bus no, but also use personal cars which are in the area and I think that is all we can say about this one yeah we mentioned all the power lines we mentioned the basic stuff about power plant we mentioned how you can calculate your power and we mentioned how you can back up your power grid and everything else is just related to this stuff and you can get the hang of it by trying and I hope I will be able to bring you more similar tutorials in the future so thank you for watching and if you like the video hit the like button you may follow the channel you may support the channel if you wish and I usually stream regularly this game twice a week you can join the stream and see you again in another video. Bye.